Hello, hello, and welcome. I know this tutorial has been uh, put off for a very long time, and I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. This tutorial, we're actually going to be using Jinja 2 to display an external HTML file. Uh, in the previous few tutorials, we actually tried just displaying HTML, but we wrote the HTML in the same exact file as the Python file. In this tutorial, we're going to import an, an HTML file that belongs to a different folder and we're actually going to display it on the website. Um, if you haven't been caught up on what we've been doing so far, we, we last in the last video we set up this module called Jinja2 and if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch that video. In this tutorial, we're going to use Jinja2 in our actual project and just display an external HTML page. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on that. First, I just want to showcase to you the libraries that we have here. We only have one library and it's Jinja2 version latest inside of our main.py there's not nothing else here um, it's just a basic layout and I just displayed not using Jinja2 yet as the default text right over here inside and then here's where the surprising part comes in so I created a folder called templates and it is a folder in the same directory as the app.yaml and the main.py file and inside of the templates directory, we have this file called index.html. This is what, what this is what the index.html has right now. All it says is we have successfully used Jinja2, and you can actually go ahead and just put in anything that you want here. For example, you can put in uh, HTML header. Uh, you can put in all the HTML that that you need inside of this file, and it will render properly. And we'll we'll go ahead and test that later. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and just set up Jinja2. So first thing we're going to do is import OS and also import Jinja2. So this should not give us any errors. I'm going to go ahead and open up website, website again and I'm going to refresh. No errors. So if, if you type in something like Jinja21 and then refresh, it's going to say error because there's no such module. So I just wanted to test that and it says it's still not, not using Jinja2 yet. So it works right now. Um, this is the order that I like to put it in. I like to do it in import OS, web app 2, and then Jinja 2. I don't know, it just sounds very easy to say instead of saying Jinja 2, web app 2, and OS. For some reason, doing it in this order just rolls off the tongue a lot easier. Um, so after that, we're going to go ahead and use Jinja 2 now. Um, first thing we need to do is specify the folder where all our HTML files are located. And that folder is right here called the templates folder. Um, to actually get to that folder, you're going to have to reference the entire uh, directory. So from, from the very initial file system that you have, uh, going all the way down to where the current file is. So to do that, we're actually going to just use OS, which is why we import OS out here. There's a, there's a module in OS called path, and inside of path, you can get the current directory from it. So I'm going to create a new variable called current folder. And this is going to be where the current folder is at. Okay, so it's going to be current folder is equal to os .path .dir name, and then you basically just give it a file name or something. If you use double underscore file double underscore, that is the current file that you're currently running. So it's this what this command does is it basically finds the directory where this current file is located, and that is very helpful for us. So we needed that. Um, current directory folder. Now all we need to do is just do current folder folder plus the folder name that we have right here which is templates and then we can create something like this like uh, templates folder actually I gave it a different name um, actually that's the correct name. So templates folder is uh, is gonna be current folder plus templates whatever kind of name we give it right so, um, but actually, this isn't actually completely correct because what you're going to have to actually do is uh, put double backspace like that so that the, uh, it can find the correct folder. And it turns out OS has a module like this where it can append two folder names together. So I'm going to go ahead and just use that. You can also just use current folder plus backslash backslash templates or whatever folder that you call this. You can, you can call this anything that you want. You can call that directory anything that you want. Right now, we're just calling it templates because that's um, that's what the standards that people have is uh, templates. So we have this. Uh, you can either do this, or I would recommend actually doing this. 
os.path.join, and then doing current folder, comma, and then the name of the directory inside of that current folder that you want to concatenate together. And then you use um, the, the whatever folder it is. So it's called templates, and that's how we combine it. Again, you can, you can also do the previous method I just showed you, which was uh, current folder plus templates, plus backslash backslash templates. But this is a lot safer. Um, there's actually like a lot of code that goes into reading whether or not it's it's right. So I would just recommend this method. And I I'm going to go ahead and just show you where this is um, right here. So define join. This is actually the entire code for it. So it what this does is it basically does the slash slash like right here. So it's, that's that's basically all it does. But it also has a lot of uh, tests test cases and it, it like looks for it it just basically makes sure that there are no errors involved so I would just use um, os.path.join instead of concatenating it manually All right, so now that we have a templates folder we're going to have to create the environment and this is where I don't have it fully memorized so I did take notes on it um, this is just things that you have to memorize yourself it's not really intuitive so you're going to have to just memorize how it's done so we're going to create a new environment or we're actually going to create a, a variable called environment and this will be the environment of Jinja2 and it's going to be Jinja2.environment so environment equals Jinja2.environment loader is equal to Jinja2.filesystemloader and then we're going to name we're going to give it the templates folder so we're just going to type in templates folder and there we go so we created the environment again this isn't like extremely intuitive which is why I took notes on it um, it sounds like it doesn't really make any sense but just trust me in that this is how you get it to work so you create a variable called environment you can actually create name it anything that you want I like naming environment because it's, it's a name that makes sense and then you give it um, you you open up environment engineer 2 you give it a loader of uh, Jinja2 that file system loader and then you give it the templates folder and this will basically create the environment for us where Jinja2 will run okay so now that we have that we're gonna create a new class and it's gonna be a class called handler so we, we are basically done in this upper section right here we're, we don't need it to do anything else um, we're gonna create a new class called handler and this is going to make things a lot easier for us um, just trust me that it's, it's going to make things a lot easier in the future so we're gonna create we're going to um, inherit from web app 2 dot request handler and I'm going to go ahead and just create a new um, a new method called write define write I'm going to give it self and then any arguments and then any keyword arguments okay so we have that and inside of it all we're going to do is just do self dot response dot out dot write and we're going to just feed in any arguments and any keyword arguments that we have. So, um, if we refresh the page, there should be nothing wrong, no errors or anything, because we haven't really done anything yet. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to delete this part right here. So, where, so main handler, right? I'm going to delete this part where it inherits from what about two dot request handler because we're going to we're just going to inherit from handler instead because that's basically where this inherits from and it has an easier command uh, this is basically shortened to just rect so we're, that's what we're going to do okay so we're going to just delete this part right here and then just imp just inherit from handler which is this section right here and then we're going to instead of writing all of this long text down we're just going to do self.write and if you refresh the page everything still works and just to test it out again I'm going to do self.write Hello, this is a really short command to display the page. And I'm going to actually just delete this part right here because I made a typo and I didn't really notice at the time. Um, okay, so refresh. This is this is a really short command to display the page. And that's because this is a very short command to display the page. I mean, we just shortened out self.response.out.write into just write. So this is like this is going to make things so much easier for us. And that's why we created a new class called Handler. And anytime we want to um, display an HTML page, we're just going to use, we're just going to inherit from handle classes. Trust me, it will make things a million times easier. You just need to write one command down and it will display that HTML page. So now we're just going to create a new command called, or a new method called um, 
render HTML. So this will basically take any HTML that you feed it and it's going to turn that into a viewable um, set thing on the page. So it's going to just make it so that you can view HTML files on the page. So that's what this will do. And it, it uses Jinja 2. It does a lot of code so I don't really know how to explain it that well but it, it just basically renders the HTML and makes it into appropriate code that your browser can your browser and your Python file can read and also the Google App Server can read so that's that's what it does um, so we're gonna put in self any arguments and any parameters as well um, actually we don't need to put any arguments just just put in template so you feed it a template it's gonna render that HTML into something that you can use and display on the page so render HTML and inside of that we are going to call environment again so we're going to create a new a new variable called HTML is equal to environment dot get underscore template and then the template which is right here. So anything you feed it, it's just going to create a new variable called HTML. And it's going to run environment. It's going to get the template and then it's going to add it to HTML. So and then we're just going to return HTML dot render and um, any parameters, any parameters that we have there. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So in case there's any parameters, we're just going to render it with the parameters instated. Um, that that's all good. Okay. So we refresh this page. Everything still works fine. Um, so just just as an example, we can actually just use this command already. Just render HTML. So we're going to do self dot write. I'm going to do render. HTML, but you need to give it a template, and um, so I'm, I'm just gonna yeah, we can actually just give it a template. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna render HTML self dot write, and then we're gonna give it the name of the file, so index .html. So I'm already feeding index .html into it. I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete this upper section actually, and if we refresh the page, oh, it says there's an error, wrote it wrong. Um, render HTML is not HTML. Oh, I forgot. I, I forgot to put self in, a, in there. So now we're going to refresh. And it says we have successfully used Jinja 2. Uh, we're not fully done yet, though, because we can still make things a lot easier. I mean, this is completely fine where if you want to just write self.write and then self.render, that takes kind of two commands and it kind of it's it takes a while to write. We want to simplify it down to just one command, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to create a new command called display HTML. Define display HTML. And we're going to do self. We're going to give it a template and any extra parameters that we have, any keyword keyword arguments or parameters. And then inside of it, we're just going to do self dot write. And then we're just going to command. Oh, we're just going to write down this entire command right here, which is uh, self dot render HTML. Self dot write. Self dot render HTML and then we're going to just give it um, any keyword arguments or we're going to give it the template and then any keyword arguments inside of it and there we go so we have that display HTML command now now we're just going to change the display now we're just going to delete the entire part right here and just type in display HTML and then we're going to give it the name of the file index.html and if we refresh Ta-da! Except it, it it worked. Okay, so I'm gonna add something new here. This is just another test to show that it worked. And then I'm gonna refresh. And there we go. It actually works fine now. Um, so main handler, so about this page, and and there we go. I guess this is complete. Um, this is basically all that we need. We just need to create a command that says display HTML. And now every time you want to display an HTML, an HTML file, all you have to do is you put it inside of this templates directory right here. You just place it in there, and then you refer to it inside of your file by displaying HTML. So whatever it is, you just you just plug in that name, and then it will display it properly. And that is how you display HTML files on your website through Jinja 2. In the next tutorial, we're going to find out how to display images and how to display CSS onto your website. Uh, in, this, in this tutorial, we basically just, import, just found out a way 
to import an external HTML file into the website. And this is going to be very helpful in the future because you can actually use variables here. Um, I will show, I don't necessarily need to show you that in this tutorial, but if I'll, I'll eventually make a tutorial for that where you can actually use variables inside your HTML page. So the reason why we actually use Jinja 2 is you can do calculations and things inside of it. So you can, you can write Python commands inside of this HTML file right here and still render it just fine. Um, and again, that's, that's going to be a tutorial for another day. Um, that's basically it, guys. If you have any questions on how this works, feel free to post a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, as you can see, this is basically perfect. I mean, this is perfect. All you need to do each time you want to display an HTML, self.display HTML, self.display underscore HTML, and then the name of the file that you want to display. And make sure you import from Handler. And then this is your set. You don't need to do anything else. You can just go ahead and copy and paste this code each time, like this entire part right here. Just copy and paste it every time you open up a new project or something, and then you're good to go. I mean, this is set. This is really easy. I hope this is really helpful to you guys. Um, if you, again, if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment. I also recommend subscribing because I make a lot of videos like these. So thanks again, guys, for watching.